to be here with you tonight and see what VCU art students, designers, and merchandisers have imagined and constructed this year. Tonight, you will see original concepts from 70 designs, designers and 200 merchandising students, all under the umbrella of this year's theme, Context. Now this fashion event is a highlight of the academic year for many of us in the School of the Arts. It is the pinnacle celebration of the Department of Fashion, Design, and Merchandising, and the capstone for this cohort of our students. Now as Dean, I take special pride in the work of these students. It's always really exciting to see what they have accomplished critical member to the team of VCU Arts, and I look forward to speaking with her every single day. This is an amazing woman, Deidre Anderton. For the name of the show came from a conversation I had with Harry Tallheimer after last year's show, which started us all thinking about context. Context provides a framework for understanding and interpretation.
Academic Affairs and Chair for the Department of Music from Virginia Commonwealth University's School of the Arts. <laughs> Welcome to our ceremony. You'll be hearing from our Dean and keynote speaker in just a moment. I'd like to introduce my colleagues who are joining me here on the stage. Christiana Lafanzani, Associate Dean for Faculty Affairs and Research. Jody Smula, Assistant Dean for Student Affairs and Art Foundation Program Lead. Holly Alford, Assistant Dean and Director of Inclusion and Equity. Ty Ruben Ellingson, Senior Director for Narrative Media and Director of Cinema. Kristen Kasky, Senior Director for Fine Arts and Chair for Sculpture as Extended Media. The reading of our graduates' name and as they are called forward to the stage will be led by our faculty members, Elizabeth Bylan. <laughs> Elizabeth Bylan, Assistant Professor, Head of Improv in the Park with the Department of Theater, and Sharon Ott. with the Department of Theater. Depart oh, what a great day. Congratulations, class of 2024. I am Dean of the School of the Arts, and it is amazing to see all of you here on this day, along with your friends and your family. Thank you so much for joining us here today. This is a day of great significance for all of us. Again, I want to make sure I have all my tools. You know, you have to be prepared when you do things like this. You have to be prepared when you do anything in life. And um, I've been given a uh, time frame to speak within. And I like to break rules, I'm not gonna lie. I like to break rules from time to time. I will not do that today. Because it's a, a beautiful day and it's about you and not me. And uh, so I'm gonna set an alarm here just so I can stay on track as I can get outside of that sometimes. I'm not gonna tell you how long I'm gonna set that time for. But I am setting one to alert me if I go too far over. So bear with me for about 10 more seconds. Uh-huh, count down if you want to. <laughs> For the win. Boom. Set, baby. Hey, congratulations! <laughs> it's no small feat. It's no small feat. And let's be very clear, you didn't do it by yourselves. COVID, you know, that, that hit me this morning to learn that some of you did not have a high school graduation. That's a big deal. My heart hurt when I, when I was thinking about that back in 2020 about how some of y'all miss proms and senior trips and, and graduation, the thing that we work so hard to do, to be able to walk across the stage, hear your name, have your family and friends cheer for you. You made it to this point, and that is a blessing and congratulations again. Now, while you're giving up for yourselves, you didn't do it by yourselves. You have family and friends, coworkers, bosses, therapists, counselors, teachers, Friends, peers, enemies who might have even pushed you to this point. Let's be very clear about that. So give it up for all of those who are in support of you. This is not your everyday commencement speech. You know, I did my research, I, I did some, took some surveys and what, what have you. And I asked random people and friends, maybe about 20 people, if they remember their commencement speaker. And out of the 20, only one of them said yes. And that one only remembered because they were responsible for getting the speaker to the school. <laughs> that hurt my heart dearly. I was like, oh no, I want somebody to remember. If not me and my face, then at least the words that I share. And because of that, you know, I like to keep things on. I have a mic. Check, 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 there we go. <laughs> We're gonna take center stage on this thing. I'm accustomed to that a little bit in my um, expertise, if you will. I've been privileged to gain experience. Um, I don't know if y'all can hear me. That mic was a little bit louder. It was booming a little bit. Can we raise this mic volume a little bit? Because I want y'all to hear me. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Oh, man. You're looking at 
one of the laziest students in the history of student. <laughs> Period. I'm telling the truth, I would tell no lies on this stage. If you were anything like me at this point, you uh, partied hard last night and woke up hungover. I'm telling the truth. If you were anything like me, not only did you wake up hungover, but you then had to pregame for this event. So, uh, you know, put a little bit up. And because you're not selfish, you made sure you brought some of that pregame with you to share with some of your classmates. I had a grand time. I also did not remember my commencement speaker. Don't blame it on the alcohol, as they say. Uh, one of the laziest students in the history of student though, and I wanted to start there because it takes work to get anywhere in life. Shortcuts, that's a relative statement. It's a relative thing, it's a relative idea. Sure, people can make terms that make pass faster, but work is still required. It will always be required. And while you have many syllabus, syllabi, is the plural form of syllabus, syllabi, over the year, I'm gonna make up some words on the stage, trust me, believe <laughs> Some syllabi over the years. Um, there's no more important syllabus than the syllabus of your life. The work that starts now. As you walk across this stage with your diplomas, it starts now. What will your syllabus read? What work will you go out here and do? The world is crazy. You feel it, you know it. You know they asked me to sit in my speech, I ain't really write one. That's what I'm talking points. But I did not, I wanted y'all to feel me. I want you to see me. I want to make eye contact because I want you to hear me, truly hear me. The world is wild right now. And when they asked for my speech, I got a little hesitant. I was like, are they trying to police me? Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm a rule breaker. I follow law. The world needs us. You see what's going on now? talk about it to talk about it but one thing I will say is Kendrick body Drake last week the number one ingredient I feel is necessary for the artist is truth Truth, truth. In a world of lies, there will never be anything more important than truth. I don't preach religion, but I do talk about God. I do talk about spirit and what it means to tell the truth. Sometimes it can hurt, but it's the truth that brings us closer to it together. It is the truth that allows us to further investigate who we are. Self-study will always be the most important study in your life. Learning who you are, excavating the things that you do not like about yourself and making them better for yourself and others. Because guess what? Your life is not about you. That's for everybody in here. Your life is not about you. We are in this together. We're here for each other. And at some point, if you want to make money off this degree that you're making, you're going to have to give your art to somebody. That selfish moment is now done. It's back to y'all.
Alright, as we take this shot, the best you can be. A lot of power. So what do you think? I expect nothing but the best. You know, we got A's in elementary school, A's in high school, and A's out through college. I expect another A's in life. And when it gets tough, don't stop. Call me. Think about when things get rough, call your mom. At the end of the day, I'm just a resource for you to get to your greatness. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a foundation for you to keep on going. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that's all I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah.